Father God, you are an amazing God, an active God, a present God, an all-knowing God, a God worthy of all the praise, the honor, and the glory. A God that loves, a God that sees, a God that comforts, a God that brings peace. Father, you are my Abba Father. You are the head of my life. You are my everything, my wheel in the middle of a wheel, my alpha and my omega. You are wonderful counselor. You are my lawyer, my doctor. presence in my life. I thank you for who you are in my life. I thank you that you've given me another day. I thank you that you saw fit to keep me here because that says to me, Father, that you are not yet done with me. That I have not yet done all that you have called me to do here on this earth that you created. And I thank you for that. I'm grateful for that. My soul opens for you. Drugs that they are on, Lord. 
and that they seek your face, that they seek your comfort, Lord, that they seek you, Father. Touch that child that no longer wants to be in that situation, Lord, that is trying to figure out his or her place in the world and hasn't a clue. Give them a clue, Father. Show them who you are, Father. Show them that your love is greater than any substance that they can take, that your love is greater than anything that they can drink, Lord. Show them, give them a clue, Lord. Touch the addict, Father, that is trying to be rid of the world as they know it. They're trying to drown out what it is that they hear and they see. They're trying to deal with what it is that they've gone through, encountered, Lord. Whatever it may have been, even things that they may have done that they cannot forgive themselves for, if they would just turn to you, Lord, they'll be made new again. If they just accept you, Father, as their Lord and Savior, they will be made new again. Touch that addict, Lord, and remove that desire of whatever substance it is that they are indulging in. Remove that desire, Father, so that they can be made whole again so that they can see clearly again, so that they can think clearly again, so that they can do what it is that they are called to do on this earth, Father. Remove that desire for whatever drug, whatever drink, whatever addiction it is, even if it's an addiction to sex, Lord, remove that desire to satisfy or pacify what they are feeling in hardship with that thing. Because I know that even once that, that euphoric feeling is gone, once that high is gone, they are faced yet again with that thing that they were trying to drown out, with that thing that they were trying to get rid of, with that thing that they no, no longer wanted to hear or see, Father. Touch that attic, Lord, and remove the taste, remove the desire, remove the need. Help them deal with the root of the problem root of the issue, Lord. Help them to deal with it. Help them to cope with that. Be there for them so that they can hear you clearly when you say that this is what I would have you to do, my child, in order to see me clearly, in order to hear me clearly, in order to deal with whatever this thing is that you're trying to drive. Father, touch the mind of the mentally ill, Lord. Bring them back to the reality that they need to be in. Bring them back to the reality that they need to be in. Bring them back. Touch their minds, Father. Touch their minds, Father. Regulate their chemical imbalance. Put the cells back in order. The fluids that flow through the brain and the spine. Put those things back in order, Lord, so that their minds line up with you. So that their minds line up with you they're clear about what it is that you would have them to do, clear about what it is that they are supposed to be doing on this earth, Father. Touch them until they heal, Lord. Touch those sick with any manner of disease, Father. Heal them, Father. Heal them, Father. Heal them, Father. Those dealing with cancer, those dealing with, with lupus, those dealing with diabetes, those dealing with sarcoidosis, those dealing with any manner of disease, Father, touch their bodies, Lord, and heal them. Touch their bodies, Lord, and heal them. Touch their minds, Lord, their hearts, Lord. Give them the desire to do what it is that the doctors have directed them to do so that they may get better or that they may be able to cope better with whatever the illness is if you so choose not to take the illness away from them. Let your will be done in our lives, Father, as a whole. Let your will be done in our lives, Father, as a whole. Let those that do not have a church home, Father, find a church home. A true, word-believing, Bible-teaching church home. One that is led by someone that you have ordained to lead a flock of sheep, Father. Not one that has ordained himself. Not one that believes the hype of what it means. The hype of the title of pastor. The hype of the title of preacher. The hype of the title of, of, of shepherd. 
someone that you have touched and ordained, someone that you have put the oil on and had it dripping from their head to the soles of their feet, Father. Someone that you have anointed, Father. And not one that has anointed themselves and called themselves a pastor, called themselves a preacher. Give that person that is seeking a good Bible teaching, word believing, word speaking home, the right home to be a part of so that they may be fed, so that they are comforted by you, so that they get to know you for themselves. These things I have asked, and I know because I have asked them in the name of your son, Jesus, that they will and shall be done. In Jesus' name, I have prayed and amen.